Hello, sexy people. Just Cassie here. And whether you were in the same situation, then I'm pretty sure you can relate. But if you haven't been in this situation, then you may find this topic very interesting. Now, growing up in the hood, okay, there are pros and cons. And mind you, I still live in the hood, okay? If I could find a better word for hood, I would use it because hood sounds so cheesy. But just for the sake of the commentary and just because this is a common word just for use of this type of situation, I'm just going to use the word hood. Okay. Um, there are pros and cons. And if I could just name a couple. One pro is that growing up in the hood, you can recognize what's going on and then you can build a strive to get out of it. Let's take me for example. My strive was... To get out and I wanted to know exactly who I was and what is my place on this planet. What is my place in this particular lifetime? And when I figured out when I figured out it was gaming, I did everything that I could to make my life surrounded in gaming. It didn't necessarily have to be YouTube, but that's just what it came down to. So now I'm this now I'm this pretty pretty low class successful youtuber and i work at gamestop now my whole life is wrapped around gaming and i never thought that it would happen that way i hope i was thinking that maybe i would become like i don't know a pro call of duty player something like that being a successful clan something like that i never actually thought about youtube but this is how it panned out so the pro to this is i strive to get out of it and i don't you know i don't I say this all the time, I don't do YouTube for money. And it's kind of funny the day that I created this YouTube. No, no, no. It was kind of funny the day that I made a video talking about why I don't sub for sub. And in that video, I was talking about how, like, I don't monetize my videos because I don't do it for the money. You know, I just do it to entertain you guys. And later on in life, I start monetizing. And then it's funny how that next day, it's like YouTube took that option away from me and they did it to a, a lot of other people too to where you have no choice but to monetize the video so <laughs> but yeah i don't really don't do this for the money i really do this for the fun i really do this for the laughs just to get a response from you guys you know i have the most random gaming channel but anyway i kind of that kind of sided me off but i really do this for the fun and like I believe that your passion can take you out of your situation. So that's why I follow my passion so much. And a con to growing up in the hood is there are some things that you get used to that you should not get used to. Like, I'm used to hearing just random gunshots every other night. Like, that's something you should not be used to. You know, that's... <laughs> I mean, if someone else who are completely out of their element came down here who is not used to this mess and they just hear one night they just hear blah 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 you know then just hear car screeching you know you know it's like they would probably freak the fuck out you know and I wouldn't blame them for freaking your fuck out but I I've been hearing this since I was little you know maybe when I was little it kind of freaked me out like is that gunshots you know but as of right now like, I'm so used to it. I hear gunshots. I don't think nothing of it. No, that's that's something that should not necessarily be anyone's mindset. Nobody should be used to that. You know, there was one day where I was standing outside. I don't remember what I was doing outside, but I was standing outside. And down the street, around the corner, all I heard, with this, all I heard was screaming, just random screaming and, like, panic. And this woman was like, no, no, no. And this guy was like, get out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. You know? And this argument is going on for, like, 30 seconds. And next thing I hear is, like, four random gunshots. And depending on how loud the gunshots are, of course due to science what science suggests <laughs> they were extremely close like very close and you hear four random gunshots go off which were extremely loud and then i say about like an hour later you hear the ambulance there was one there was one night where it was like two o'clock in the morning i don't remember what the hell i was doing but 
sometimes I do stay up late night and I go to sleep at like 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. Unless I got to go to work. And I hear these random gunshots go off. And this happens a lot of time at night. I hear a lot of random gunshots go off. And then like hours later, I hear, the po I hear police and ambulance sirens. You know, like, yeah, you guys are like pretty fucking late. Like this happened like two, three hours ago. You know, but as far as murder, like I grew up in East St. Louis. Okay, if you guys don't know about East St. Louis, YouTube it, Google it, believe me, you will find something. Believe me. Okay, and I'm not going to say that, w that my neighborhood is the worst, because there are some areas that are fine. Like, it's still the hood, but it's pretty quiet. But it's still considered the hood as a whole. It's just a portion of it. Like, my mother's neighborhood, she lives in the South End. And her, her part... No, I'm not going to say all of the South End is pretty ratchet, but the street she lives on, the little area that she's in, it's pretty quiet. And, you know, you can actually live down there and actually be quite all right. I mean, it's not the best. Little things happen. Little things happen down there. But as far as where I am now, it's hectic. And I used to travel in between where I am now and my mother's house all the time. And just, it's pretty fucking hectic. You know, like I was saying, there, there are some things that happen down here that nobody should get used to. There's not, There are things that happen down here that no child should get used to. I mean, the, the continuous drug dealing. I mean, like, it's not like I have anything against marijuana. I have nothing against marijuana. I have nothing against shrooms. I have nothing against LSD. I believe that these things all have the potential to actually show you what true reality is, like, on a whole nother level. But as far as cocaine and heroin, you know, and type of things like that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that. All I'm saying is all of these Schedule 1 drugs. You know, like marijuana, LSD, shrooms. I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like the universe supplied that to us for a reason. Okay, but anyway, that, I mean, but as far as drug dealing and prostitution, and it's, it's just a lot of things that go on down here. And when I was little, I used to hear stories about, oh, here's a story. I was in my dad's house one day. I was small. I had to have been like maybe 11 or 12. And... I hear these guys kind of arguing outside. There are three. No, there's four of them. Okay. Two of the guys is holding this one guy. And then the other guy, he's just taking stuff out of his pocket. And I'm thinking, like, I'm little. I don't know what's going on. And this thing I know, they, he punches the guy in the stomach. And, you know, and then the other two guys let him go. And they just walk off. You know, it's like. I don't know if he owed him money or what type of whatever situation they were in, but they just robbed this guy, you know? You know, and I'm little. I'm not really understanding what's going on. I'm just seeing what's happening. I don't think too much of it. But now that I think about it, you know, that's, that's something that a child my age back then should not have seen. You know, I've seen a lot of things. You know, I've seen a lot of things. Like I said, that strives me to um, just want to get out of here. I will never forget where I came from. Okay, because it made me the person that I am today. But my mother even recognized it. You know, she tried to her best to keep me in different type of schools. Like, don't get offended when I say this, but my mother tried to keep me in majority white schools. Like, I guess that's, I can, I can assume that that's the reason why I'm, I'm very well spoken. Or I walk, I just, I just carry myself in a certain way to where sometimes when I step out of the door, I, I just look at, the era that I'm in, and I feel so out of element. I feel so out of my element. Like, I do not belong here. Like, I have to get out of here. But being here lets me recognize that, I mean, there has to be a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I feel that no rich kid or no, no rich kid or no kid that grew up in the suburbs or anything like that can have a greater experience than somebody that's coming out of the hood. Like, there is no way. Because you haven't seen the things that we've seen. You haven't gone through the things we've gone through. And as a black male, we strive. I know me as a black male, I strive to not be another statistic. I, re I refuse to be another black male that just randomly gets killed or just gets thrown in jail for nonsense. 
You know, I, I refuse to be that way. And that's, but at the same time, I still keep a smile on my face. I still, I still try my best to be generous to everybody that I see. Like I, I would, I would give my last to someone if I felt they needed it, really needed it. But um, I just, I just felt that this would be pretty interesting to you. And I feel like if there's anybody else who's in the situation, in the same situation, like. The sun always shines. You always have another chance, okay? And it's, don't let anything ever stop you from following your passion for what you want to do because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I feel that you shouldn't have to feel that you have to submit to robbery. I mean, commit to robbery or suicide if you feel that it needs to come to that. Or just anything else that's negative that can put you in a, in a negative situation. Like, you don't, it doesn't have to end that way. Because, you no, know, God or the universe or whatever you want to call it, it gave us a brain. It gave us a mind. And it functions well if we allow it to. So, I mean, there's always another day. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And I just want to say, guys, just be smart about everything that you do in life, you know. And if you didn't, if you didn't grow up in the hood, if you grew up with, with like, wealthy or fairly wealthy parents, you know, I just like to say don't, don't take it for granted. Because, you know, people like me, you know, I would have liked to have been in that type of situation. But I'm kind of happy for the cards that I've been dealt. Because it causes me to strive harder. But anyway, guys, this has been Just Kessie. Um, wow, this has gone like 11 and a half minutes, okay? <laughs> this has been Just Kessie. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Hit the like if you like, and if you haven't subscribed, liking and subscribing, please do it. It really helps the channel out, especially if you're new. And until next time, next time, happy gaming.